Good morning, guys. This is Tracy with Tarot Talk 1111. This is my second YouTube channel. Um, I don't upload here as often as I would like to, but I have seen some growth in the channel, so I thought I should give you guys some love. So I am doing a pick a pile reading today. This is for lovers in separation. So set your intention for a person that's on your heart and mind that you would like to reconcile with, um, but are in separation currently. Okay. So we're going to get love messages from your person. This is not tarot. The, these are oracles. This is simply trying to find out what is in the heart and mind and intentions um, and, and possibly experience like in their home experience or their life at this time that might be adding to or contributing to the um, distance between you or the separation and what their, their higher self or their love for you would like to say. So pile number one is this beautiful um, record keeper, clear quartz, Lumerian quartz. Pile number two is this <clears throat> moonstone. And pile number three is the blue Andara crystal. So take a moment, look over your piles and choose which one um, you're called to choose. You know, use your intuition. And while you're choosing, I would like you to um, consider subscribing if you haven't, um, hitting the like button and the share button if you like the content. Also, if you're interested in checking out my original channel, it is all about spirituality, ascension, awakening, and um, twin flames if you resonate with that title. Go check that one out. It's linked in the description box below. And I am also running a special on my readings right now. It is $50 for um, a half an hour to an hour reading. I read until spirit basically gives you the message to what you asked about. Sometimes it's longer, sometimes it's, you know, shorter, but you always get at least a half an hour uh, to an hour. And I do a deep dive where if you find that you really need in-depth guidance in your life and in your relationships. I, I am a Ascension Twin Flame Ascension coach um, and, and relationship coach. So if you need help, reach out. All of my contact information will be in the bottom description box. And without further ado, let's just see what your person has to say. Now, remember, we're looking at their higher self, right? What is your higher self? If you don't know what that is, that's their that's their guidance, right? Their their higher knowing. That voice inside their head. Sometimes it's ego. We could be getting messages from ego, or we could get divine messages from their soul. Either way, we're going to take a look. Okay, so if you chose pile number one, I'm going to leave these for last. These are songs and messages. And we're going to start with your oracle. Oh, happiness. I'm seeing butterflies here, guys. If you pick pile number one, this person's working on becoming a better person. They're trying to find happiness in their life. And, you know, you know your situation. So if you know that this person is not pining over you and they're with another person or something and they're happy... You know, you might have to wait until um, timing is right because butterflies for me represent a transformation. Something is changing in this dynamic that is going to ultimately bring happiness. Time for a nap. Oh, this person's energy feels burdened. That's why the happy, they, they want to transform something into this lighter, happier energy. Time for a nap. They, I feel exhaustion, maybe depression, maybe burdens, like they might have a very, um, a lot of commitments in their life, a lot of, of uh, things or people that they have to take care of. They might work a lot, but I am feeling an energy of exhaustion. 
And I definitely feel a transformation is being, this person's being guided toward a transformation. Yeah, stuck energy. See, look at that. Your person is depressed. They feel stuck. They don't know what to do. They're trying to think things through. Um, I'm feeling like they're asking for help too, like spirit, because it's a number eight and eight is cycles. They're stuck in some kind of a cycle that they need to transform. They're, they need to be that caterpillar, right? Going into the chrysalis and coming out that butterfly. Something here needs to change because this is stuck energy. This is depressed energy. That's why you guys aren't together right now. But in this, there is a rainbow overhead and spirits telling me, make sure you talk about the rainbow because it's here also. And so, you know, on the spirit realm, their guides are trying to help them to unstick themselves and, and self-care. I'm hearing this person could be extremely overworked or, or they might be unhealthy. Maybe they're struggling in their health. Their mental health is what I'm hearing for some of them. So we have close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful happiness. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. See, this person feels stuck and unhappy and depressed. I kind of feel bad for this person. Yeah, I'm not doing tarot today, but I would be willing to bet that if I toss tarot on this, you would find that this person is in a karmic cycle of some sort. A uh, third party situation doesn't have to be like they're married or dating somebody else, although that is a huge possibility. But I feel like this person just has bitten off more than they can chew right now in their life. They're in some kind of a cycle that needs, there's, when you're in a karmic cycle, there's a lesson that's there for you, right? A lesson about, you know, what stays, what goes. Am I living my life to my highest and fullest potential? So close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. So I feel like this is a double message too toward you. Spirit is saying that, you know, while your person is stuck, work on fulfilling your own joy and happiness in the situation that you're currently in, because whatever situation they're in, um, I don't see movement yet. Okay. So what's the angel advice? Get more information. So take that as it resonates, right? Spirit says, uh, you might be angry at this person. You might be thinking that the reason why they're not co contacting you, and I'm hearing for whatever reason, like there's trouble with communication, like you're not even speaking to each other. And so get more information says they might be going through something that you are unaware of. And so if you're feeling angry or upset because you're not hearing from them, then get more information. And if you are in communication with this person, I don't know why I'm feeling like you're not with this take a nap. It's like a break. I'm hearing take a break. Like you guys took a break because this person has something going on that they can't work through or are trying to work through and feeling stuck in. And so you should work on your own joy and happiness while they work on getting unstuck. And if you're feeling resentful, angry, sad, those lower vibrational energies, try to get more information. You might find that it's not what you think it is. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Now, this could be advice for your person to do this, or this could be advice that you need to do this. Your intuition will tell you. If you've been trying to reach out and this person is not responding or not, you know, communicating, 
then, you know, that would be a clear indication that this person is the one that needs to express the balls in their court, so to, so to speak, right? But if you haven't, if you've been avoiding this person because of, of a perceived idea of what's going on, you might want to find out more information because there might be more to the story and you might be the one that needs to express. Play hard, find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. See, again, this feels stagnant. All right, let's say that you clicked on here and you're in some form of union. Maybe you're married to this person or you're dating this person. Although I did say at the beginning of the video that I was setting my intentions that you're in separation. So maybe you're married and you're just taking a break, right? With take a nap. Uh, Spirit says, if you want to rejuvenate and get this energy moving again, you need to communicate, get more information and express, right? Express your love and happiness to find the happiness you need to find joy close your eyes tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful play hard find time to laugh goof off and enjoy each other so there might be an energy here of needing to lighten things up right in order to bring this back into alignment we have strengthen your gifts so use what you got. That's what I'm hearing. You know, everybody's got gifts. If you've got gifts of discernment, then get more information. If you're a good communicator, use that gift to, to express um, whatever your gifts are. They are unique unto you. And so use those gifts in order to strengthen this relationship, this bond. And I'm hearing trust your intuition with this, get more information. So you might be in like a distorted perception because your, your ego is telling you one thing, but your intuition is telling you another. Okay. My pile number ones, you guys really need to focus on bringing playfulness and enjoy back into the situation. There's a need to communicate for whatever reason with this express and take a nap, stuck energy. I'm really feeling like you guys are not speaking. You might be in separate corners. You might have had an argument, um, but eventually someone's going to have to break the silence, right? Enlighten the energy. Use your gifts to do that. You know, I like to write poetry. I don't know that's out of date maybe, but you know, you could write lyrics or something to your person if you feel called, because remember discernment here. Um, if it's their turn, let them do it. So let's get higher messages, you know, from their, their, what would they tell you if they were being honest? We have Nike alert, runner, intense fear. So your person is stuck because they're feeling fear. Uh, you've triggered a trauma wound in them of some sort of uh, fear of abandonment, fear of commitment, fear of unworthiness. There's some type of a fear here that you've triggered in this person or this person has triggered in you. And so Nike alert, they've laced up their shoes or you've laced up yours and somebody's running away from the intense feelings in this situation because of some kind of a trigger from a trauma wound. And there it is. I knew this was coming. Ghosted. I felt that. I really felt that. No expression. Somebody has just disappeared. Run away. Okay, so, you know, what do I do when my person runs away? And I'm in a twin flame relationship, so I know what the runner and chaser thing's all about. Um, I work on me. I work on my happiness, my joy, my gifts. I unstick myself and let them work on their stuff, give them time and space to work on their fears. And I have a feeling that that expression will happen eventually, but I don't see it right now. It's stuck energy. So these are songs. I picked two songs for you. On the back tells you what... Um, decade they're from. We have the 80s for you guys. So 
you know, maybe you grew up in the 80s or you're just fans of 80s music. Your first song is You Crave Attention, You... Okay, You Crave Attention, You Can Never Say No. Throw Your Affection Any Way the Wind Blows. You Give It All Away and Everybody Wants You, Billy Squire. Everybody Wants You. So they're saying to you, you crave attention. You can never say no. You throw your affection any way the wind blows. You give it all away and everybody wants you. This person's afraid of losing you because you're probably hot as hell or, or other people really feel drawn to you. I'm seeing this beautiful woman here in this happiness card. It doesn't have to be that you're the woman in the situation, but that's just what I'm seeing because it feels like the man is the one who is stuck. Uh, genders don't matter. It's energy. Uh, but this person has an issue with jealousy is what I feel. It's their trauma bond. They, they're they easily triggered by jealousy and fear of rejection. Okay, the next one is, it's physical, only logical. You must try to ignore that it means more than that. Ooh, what's love got to do with it by Tina Turner. So this person, they think you're a player. I'm going to be honest. They're thinking that you're running around and cheating on them. And energies can swap. So, you know, it could be you think they're cheating on you. But somebody, the energy I'm feeling is that there's jealousy here. It's physical, only logical. You must try to ignore that it means more than that. What's love got to do with it? You crave attention. You can never say no. Throw your affection any way the wind blows. You give it all away and everybody wants you. So this person has a fear of being rejected. And if it's not them, it's you. And if you're the one who's stuck because this person's like out there having fun, expressing their love all over the place, then you need to take a look at why are you attracted to that, right? Strengthen your gifts, your intuition. And if it's them, then they are trying to work through a trauma bond of, of fear around being rejected, abandoned, unworthy, and jealousy. I'm hearing control and jealousy. They could be controlling, and so you need to use your discernment on whether or not this you even need this, right? Because take a nap is is a way of saying this break. You know, you need to take a break. Stuck energy. Something here needs to transform in order to make this even worth having. Okay? So, guys, you need to use your discernment. How does that feel? Do you think that you're in a karmic relationship, a karmic lesson where you're dating somebody who's cheating on you, running around with other people and you're the one who's stuck or, and is it real? Because it says, get more information. You might be thinking that and you're totally wrong and vice versa. Take that energy and flip it. It could be your person that's feeling you're cheating and they need to get more information. You need to express, you need to have a conversation. But somebody got triggered and scared, laced up their tenny runners and off they went, ghosted. Okay, so my pile number ones, I love you. And if that resonated, please leave a comment below. And if you would like guidance in your life in order to find out if this is a karmic relationship or if this is something that's meant to be, uh, reach out and hire me to do a personal reading for you. Okay. Namaste. What time is it? We need to look at 1917. 1917. All right. Pile number twos. You guys picked this beautiful moonstone. This camera does not do it just justice. It does have a lot of fire in the in the light. Here it just looks like black and white, but um, it does have a lot of fire inside of it, like my moonstone ring. Okay, so pile number two. We would like to know what your person that you are not with, you know, you're not in union, you, you're missing each other or possibly missing each other, but you're not together. 
Let's take a look at why. Inspiration. You're my inspiration. You bring feeling into my life. I did another reading today on my other channel, and I think, I don't think it was this card. It was another card, but it had this word, and that song has been bouncing around in my head. Chicago, you're the inspiration. So let's take a look at the energies before I go channeling for you. Thinker, inspiration and thinker. Wow, this person is really um, working on it, working on something. There's something going on. They're, they're being inspired or they're looking for inspiration. They're thinking really hard. It's a divine number 44 too. Master number. The sacred temple. There you go. I just was talking master number. So I'm going to get all the energies out because this one feels a little more complex than pile number one did. Imagine solutions, inspiration, and thinker. Yeah, this person's working really hard, or you are, right? Because energies can, can be vice versa. But um, imagine solutions. Look for inspiration. Think, you know, put on your thinking cap. Sacred temple to me tells me it's a um, it's a divine lesson, right? Like soulmate energy. This person came into your life to teach you something. You came into their life to teach them something. This is about the sacred temple, about your spiritual journey. And you could have a contract with each other to help each other spiritually um, learn a life lesson that's going to level you up with the number 44. Transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. Look at that heart on fire. Inspiration. Then we have it's up to you. That to me is this thinking and inspiration and solutions, right? Um, something needs to be manifested. I'm hearing manifestation. You need to be visualizing and get very clear with your intentions. Because in order to come back together with this person, a transformation has to happen. And this is a spiritual transformation. And, and on those kind of journeys with a, a catalyst, which is a person who, who is your inspiration, who activates you on the sacred journey and this transformation, you have to choose to accept that journey. You have to choose to go within yourself and start working on your shadows and your, your trauma bonds and tethers. And if I'm speaking foreign language, what I mean is everybody has been hurt and heartbroken. Whether it was by mommy, daddy, brothers, sisters, best friends, bullies, teachers, um, or lovers, right? Or, or romantic interests. Everybody's had a broken heart. It's part of our spiritual journey. And so transformation happens when we are willing to quit operating on those same belief systems. Like, you know, if you were bullied when you were a kid, maybe you were the chubby kid or the, the, the crooked teeth kid or the big nose kid or the kid with the zits or whatever. We've all got them, everybody. We had something, right, that made you feel insecure about yourself. Well, because of the ridicule or the, the fun poking or whatever, or the we have voices that play over and over in our head saying, you're never going to be good enough. You're not pretty enough. You're not thin enough, tall enough. Whatever you feel is not enough. And that is what is being begged to be transformed and transmuted here is those belief systems. And it's up to you. This is a spiritual journey. This person is your catalyst, your inspiration to choose this sacred journey. And the sacred temple for me is your temple, your soul, your experience, right? Your body, your avatar, your mind, mind, body, spirit, your sacred temple. 
So transformation starts with you is what spirit's trying to tell you here and possibly even your person, right? Imagine solutions, think really hard and try to get inspiration and go within to find this transformation. And if this does not resonate as your energy, the reason why you're not with this person is because they're going through a transformation, right? But this is clearly pointing at you. This angel's pointing at you. It's up to you to find the solution through transformation. Something here needs to change. And this is spiritual. It's spiritual. And it's a number five, so spiritual changes, transformation. We have let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. See, you will be divinely guided. If you're going on some kind of a spiritual journey, it's always guided. You'll get triggered. Somebody will say or do something. You'll cry. You'll realize that you have changes to make in your life because you're tired of the same old, same old. So you're going to think of a solution. You're going to get inspiration. You're going to go within. I feel like this is your journey. Now they could be mirroring you and on the same journey, but this angel is definitely pointing at you. Okay. So let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. And then we have interference. An external party is intruding on this relationship. So this sometimes could mean that your person's married. It could mean that you're married. It could mean that you're in a relationship with someone else or they are. Or it could be work. You know, work. A lot of people um, allow their work to interfere or their children. Maybe they're divorced and have children uh, living with them or or part-time living with them. There, This is an external influence. Could be their best friends piping in their ears, telling them that you're, you know, not good enough for them or whatever. But something here is interfering with this pile. I want to get, I'm going to get one more because spirit, I'd like to know a little bit more guidance for this pile because you're pointing out issues, but I'm not seeing a lot of guidance other than it's up to you. Leap of faith. It's time or it's safe to make the move you're considering. And I'm seeing this here too. Okay. This woman and child look like they're afraid of this man. And it could be that you're in a relationship with somebody who is borderline abusive and controlling and you might be looking for a solution to move out to transform to move away and and that could be vice versa too but i'm definitely feeling here like your relationship with one another is about to deepen love conquers and transforms all things But there is a third party situation. Somebody here is stuck in a, a relationship, I think, that is toxic. And so they're trying to think of a way, a solution, an inspiration to release themselves. And this is a spiritual connection between the two of you. Leap of faith, sacred temple. It's safe to, to make the move you're considering. So whether it's you considering moving or them, somebody needs to free themselves from a controlling um, situation. Bottom of the deck decision. Somebody needs to make a decision about, I think, a third party situation. So I'm going to leave that there, guys. If you'd like a deeper reading, please reach out to me. All the information you need is in the description box below. I'm going to get you messages from your person. What would they say to you if they could? We have time for a change. God, there's really somebody here needs to make a, a decision about a third party situation. That's what I'm feeling. And then we have, we both need to do more healing before we can even consider this. Yeah, somebody's stuck. And this is very spiritually, I feel spiritual movement here. Like this is something that's going to change your life. Meeting each other was not a, 
a coincidence. This is to put you on a path of healing. And both of you, not just one. So whether it's you that's in a karmic situation or your person, you know, in a relationship with somebody who is not treating you right, um, that needs to transform and change in order to deepen this relationship. And it feels like you. I'm just going to say it. Doesn't have to be, take it as it resonates, but it's up to you is what I'm hearing. Oh my God, I can't believe this. So I drew you two songs, right? We've got 70s for you guys. So maybe you like the 70s. You might've grown up in the 70s. Um, you just, you know, like the genre of music of the 70s or your person does. But listen to the song I drew. It says, torn between two lovers, feeling like a fool. Loving both of you is breaking all the rules. Torn between two lovers, feeling like a fool. Loving you both is breaking all the rules. Torn between two lovers by Mary McGregor. I told you, third party situation. There's one too many cooks in this kitchen. <laughs> and spirit is saying that needs to transform. And I feel like like the, the person that needs to make the change might be you. Uh, time to make a decision. You might need to get out of a toxic relationship in order to find your spiritual transformation. And this person is a definite inspiration for you to do that. Imagine solutions. So your last song is Memories Light the Corner of My Mind, Misty Watercolored Memories of the Way We Were. So this could be if you're in another situation, it could be that you're sticking around because at one time it was a very loving situation and you're hoping to fix it. Uh, but this picture really doesn't look good to me. And so also another message I'm getting from this is that the person that's on your heart and mind that you're not in union with um could possibly be somebody from your past, somebody you dated before, you know. Uh, memories like the corner of my mind, misty watercolored memories of the way we were by Barbara Streisand. You might want to go and Google these songs and look, take a look at the lyrics. Again, we have Torn Between Two Lovers, Mary McGregor and Barbara Streisand, uh, the way we were. All right, pile number two, if you'd like more guidance on this, please reach out. There is all the links that you need to contact me for a deeper reading. I am a Twin Flame uh, Ascension Coach. I am a spiritual reader. I read um, to help you on spiritual path and uh, sacred relationships. So if you think you're in that kind of situation, let me know and I'll do what I can to help you. And even if you're just in a normal love, you know, relationship, I am a relationship coach and can help you with that too. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. We are now moving on to pile number three at 3322. Wow. There's some numbers, huh? 3322. Hello, my beautiful pile number threes. What is going on with you and your person in the situation? Why are you not together? What do you need to work on? What do they want to tell you? We're just going to try and get as many details intuitively as we can about why you're not together at the moment. Ooh, passion. But a being. Passion. Let's just get some energies out here. Higher power. I'm hearing... Your love is lifting me higher than I've ever been lifted before. And, and I'm seeing a keyhole over this person's third eye. So this also, like pile number two, feels like a spiritual connection between you and this person. Transformation. Wow, this is really, really different deck. Same messages coming through as pile number two. You might want to go watch that one too. Go for your dreams, your passion. Trust your intuition. Something here can transform. We have power. Gosh, you guys, you're so being guided at this time. 
to use your creative power, like manifest, I'm hearing manifest, dream about it, write about it, journal about it, manifest this because this is connecting you to your higher power. This person is activating you for some sort of, of a journey to self-discovery and your abilities. You could be very psychic or intuitive or empathic, gifted. And this person came into your life and like a spark lit you up because I was hearing your love lifts me higher than I've ever been lifted before. Go for your dreams. I think you might have to manifest this one. Yes. <laughs> Spirit says, yes, yes. Manifest this one. Wedding. This situation involves marriage. Yeah, you might have just decided to, you know what I've noticed is sometimes during pick a pile readings, I'll put a video on and I'll pick my pile and then I'll be making lunch for my son or something. And my pile will end and it'll go into the next pile. And it's like a continuation, like spirits, like she's still listening. So we're just going to keep on going, right? So you might have been watching pile number two and decided to go on and watch pile number three. But I feel like there is a third party situation going on here. Or you could be married to this person and separated at this time. Or, you know, take that as it resonates. Somebody here could be married and separated. Or they could be married and, and the two of you met each other through a higher power and you're manifesting. This could be soulmate, twin flame energy. Um, but this feels, because we got four, five, we got a definite yes. So whatever's going on, this is being divinely guided by a higher power. And you're being told to go for it. Let's get more of guidance. Denial. Detach with love to clearly see the truth. Hmm. That could change things. We have power. You instinctively know what is right for you. And you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. Wow. That really kind of took a turn on me. So... Not really. If you if you watched pile number two, there's they need to clear something out. So do I want to toss more on this spirit? I'll get a couple more cards for clarity. Um, but what I'm feeling, I'm really feeling the same exact message as pile number two. Somebody could be stuck in a third party situation and you're being asked, it says yes, to, to tap into that higher power. And, and passion. This reminds me of the Ace of Wands. It's like inspiration to move or to act. And it says power here, passion and power. You instinctively know what's right for you. And you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. And so you or your person could be stuck in a third party situation that you're in denial about, right? says, detach with love to clearly see the truth. Let's get some clarity here. Clarity for my pile number threes, please. What is going on here? Can you give me? <laughs> okay, so bottom of the deck, we have awakening. Both people in this connection are undergoing spiritual transformation. And we do have transformation on the table, right? And higher power. It says, put away the computer. Working less and having more fun will help strengthen your relationship. I feel like you're obsessively watching YouTube videos. <laughs> so uh, power, you need to take your power back. Somebody here needs to transform a situation where marriage is involved. But this is causing an awakening on both sides. So time alone or in nature will help you recharge, put away the computer. I think you need to stop binge watching tarot readings and get out and, and go within, right? And you got a big fat yes here and you got one, you got a yes and a no. 
But I think the yes is that you need to retreat and stop being in denial, recognize that this is an opportunity for transformation, and it is a spiritual awakening and transformation. The two of you are, are in some kind of a spiritual um, soul contract. And I feel like you might be codependent. I'm hearing codependent. Again, we've got decision. It's time to decide about this relationship. Yeah, you might want to go watch pile number two, or maybe you already did, and that's why this is coming out. But I feel like you have a choice to make here. And it has to do with your passion and power and transformation, right? It says, go for your dreams. Retreat. Put the computer away. You instinctively know what's right for you. Use your intuition because you do have a lot of intuition. And I have a feeling that this is going to be different for different people who are watching. So I can't really get too specific. But you're being told that you know, you've already been given guidance by spirit, by your higher self on what you should do in this situation. Because somebody here is not free. And if you're married to each other and you're having difficulty with, with um, boundaries, then you need to learn what you don't want so that you can say no to it and learn what you do want so that you can say yes to having the experience, right? Denial, retreat, put away the computer. Both people are awakening and a decision needs to be made. And this situation involves marriage. You instinctively know what to do. You have the power to say no or to walk away at any time and you have retreat. So I think this is all about you choosing what is best for you. Go for your dreams. And we have, and I was talking about you need to manifest for yourself. Power is manifestation. The, the creator, you are a creator being from a creator race, from the original creator Creation is our superpower, power, passion. Go for your dreams. Manifest what you want. This is meant to happen to transform something. A transformation is occurring here. A spiritual awakening. Both people in the connection are undergoing spiritual transformation. So I'm going to leave that there, guys. If you want to go deeper into this, um, then all of my contact information is below. So I'm going to get you messages from your persons. What would they say to you if they could or if they did? We have, I'm so lonely, but I'd never admit it. <sighs> and we have, you speak to me in music and lyrics, which is profound because the next two messages are exactly that. They're music lyrics. So the songs that I picked for you are Genie in a Bottle by Christina Aguilera. It says, oh, 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 my body's saying, let's go. Oh, whoa, but my heart is saying, no, no. <laughs> and you've got yes and no. That's really cool, guys. Think about that, okay? Yes and no. You're confused about what to do here. And you might be obsessively watching guidance in tarot readings in order to gain clarity because I think you're in a, a spiritual relationship uh, awakening and the two of you are the catalyst for this higher power. This is profound. So, okay. Oh, 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 my body saying, let's go. Oh, whoa. But my heart is saying, no, no. If you want to be with me, baby, there's a price to pay. I'm a genie in a bottle. You got to rub me the right way. Christina Aguilera. Yeah. So your person saying, mm, there's adjustments that need to be made here. Okay. And, and confusion. And we have, aw. Aw. All right. So this one's called Ghostbusters by Ray Parker Jr. <laughs> Ghostbusters. 
It says an invisible man. I put won't or man because I don't know if you're a masculine or feminine. But it says an invisible won't man is sleeping in your bed. Who you going to call Ghostbusters? I ain't afraid of no ghost. So if one or both of you are in relationships with other people and it's a ghost in your bed, right? Like I know in the tail end of my marriage, we, we went 10 years without having intimacy. We didn't want to touch each other. We, we were friends, but we were not intimate at all. And so sometimes marriages can fall into those patterns of we're just here for the kids or we're just here for the money or the comfort zone of having a roof, you know, or it would be a hot mess to try and untangle ourselves from what we've built together, splitting up all the assets, et cetera. But this person's saying there's an invisible person sleeping in your bed. Who are you going to call Ghostbusters? I ain't afraid of no ghost. Ray Parker Jr. So decisions need to be made by both of you. And somebody, if not both of you, needs to clear out a third party energy. Um, if you're married to one another, but you're not in intimacy with one another, and there's choices that need to be made about how to transform the situation into a better relationship. Okay, guys, I hope this resonated and I will try to upload uh, more steadily here. It's really hard because my business has been booming. I'm running a special right now and everybody seems to be taking advantage of it. And so um, it's been difficult, but I hope you guys keep coming back. I hope that you uh, turn your little, make sure you subscribe and turn on your uh, notification bell so that when I do upload, you get to see it. And if you're here because you're on my other channel, then, you know, the readings I did today will definitely resonate with you easier than those who are just awakening to some of these relationships and higher, um, higher soulmates, right? All right, guys, I love you. Namaste. And we will see you the next time. Bye-bye.